shot this morning from the Century Plaza Hotel and Spa on Burrard Street. We've heard it here from Replicate on breakfast television, a high of 30 today, an incredibly high UV index rate as well. So we're thinking sunscreen and it can be a bit of a stressful experience, but here to talk about how to reduce the risk of skin cancers on World Melanoma Day, Dr. Rivers, welcome to BT. Thanks, TJ. So let's talk about some of the basics. We've probably heard them before. How do we reduce the risk of skin cancers? Well, the first thing is to realize that the sun can damage your skin and it doesn't take a long time to do that. So first thing, look for shade. That's very important. Use clothing as a way of protecting your skin. Does so, just a regular cotton shirt protect us from the UV? It gives us some protection, but remember, uh, darker colors, tighter weaves work better, and a shirt that's washed several times will also be better, but there are some protective clothing that you can purchase. So you're not just a dermatologist, a doctor, uh, well-respected. You are also an inventor. So I want to talk about your Riversol sunscreen. What makes it special? Well, Riversol sunscreen is different in the sense that it's a physical sunscreen, so it doesn't contain uh, chemical agents, which can, in fact, have potential problems on the skin. So it has uh, zinc, it has titanium, and it has iron oxide. The iron oxide is important in the sense that it blocks visible light. It gives a bit of a tint to the product, but we know that even visible light may have some uh, negative effects on the skin, especially for women who have a pigmentary condition called melasma, which can happen after pregnancy or from the birth control pill. And we think that uh, visible light may play a role in that too. We also have Hinocatol, which comes from, <laughs> yes, you can say it three we times. We were laughing in the green room because I thought, do I need to write that down? So I'm glad you took care of yes, it. Yes, it comes from the western red cedar tree, which may have some anti-inflammatory action and help to reduce some of the damage from sunscreen, uh, from the sun as well. So we've talked about some of the special things that are in river salt. Can we talk about what's not in there? I know we've had on BT the story about Hawaii banning potentially harmful sunscreens because of an ingredient that was harming the, the coral reefs, right. what do you know about that? Well, that's oxybenzone, which is thought to be a, a hormone disruptor. There's a lot of controversy around that still, but the simplest thing, if you can get around it and not use it, you know, don't use it. All right, great. Uh, what else can you tell us about the, in, you know, the process of inventing a sunscreen? Well, I've been a dermatologist for many years, and um, my interest is in um, skin cancer and also photo protection. So, I basically took what I thought was the best approach to dealing with the issue, that is use agents that are safe on the skin, that are usually well tolerated by people, put them together to give people a product that will help prevent sun damage and may help reduce the risk of skin cancer as well. And you, you spoke a moment ago about discovering the benefits in regards to sunscreen from, from something in, the red, in a redwood. How did you make that discovery? That goes back many years. Um, I was working uh, previously at the university and I was introduced to this molecule by the Department of Forestry and I learned that one of the ingredients, this um, molecule from the red cedar tree could have a beneficial effect on the skin after exposure to ultraviolet light and so that piqued my curiosity. I bet. And then I knew somebody who was a cosmetic chemist and we put this together in a cream and lo and behold. We Riversol. have Riversol. All right, and Riversol also, uh, thanks to you, giving uh, you an opportunity to get a sample. And it's not just one of those tiny tubes either. It's, what is it, 14 days or a yeah, couple it's two weeks, weeks. worth? You, you get free samples, so we don't take credit cards or anything of that nature. And if you like it, buy it. If you don't like it, don't. It's not for everybody, but uh, a lot of people seem to be enjoying it. And if you like it, I'm happy. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Rivers. You put your name on it. That means something. Riversol.ca, the place to get get that free sample. Enjoy the heat today and stay safe. It is World Melanoma Day. Glad that we're ultra aware.